Hello friends. Here are the top 35 questions and their answers related to ultrafiltration, oof, plant. Question. What is oof? Answer. Ultrafiltration, oof, is a membrane filtration process used to separate suspended solids, colloids, and large molecules from wastewater by utilizing a semi-permeable membrane. Question. What are the advantages of UF in wastewater treatment? Answer. OOF offers efficient removal of particles, bacteria, viruses, and macromolecules, while consuming less energy compared to other separation methods. Question. How does OOF differ from other membrane processes? Answer. OOF has a higher molecular weight cutoff than microfiltration but lower than nanofiltration, making it suitable for separating substances with molecular weights in the range of 1000 to 100,000 Daltons. Question. What types of membranes are used in OOF? Answer. Polymeric membranes made from materials like polysulfone, polyethyl sulfone, and polyvinylidene fluoride are commonly used in OOF. Question. How does fouling impact OOF performance? Answer. Fouling occurs when suspended particles and contaminants accumulate on the membrane surface, reducing filtration efficiency. Periodic cleaning is required to address fouling. Question. What is the role of transmembrane pressure in OOF? Answer. Transmembrane pressure is the driving force that pushes water through the membrane, separating solids and contaminants from the wastewater. Question. Can you explain the term, flux, in OOF? Answer. Flux refers to the rate of water flow per unit area of membrane surface. It's a critical parameter that affects the efficiency of OOF. Question. What are the typical applications of UF in wastewater treatment? Answer. OOF is used for treating industrial wastewater municipal wastewater, and for water reuse applications due to its ability to remove suspended solids and contaminants. Question. How is backwashing performed in a OOF system? Answer. Backwashing involves reversing the flow across the membrane to dislodge and remove accumulated particles, helping to maintain membrane efficiency. Question. What is the significance of membrane pore size in OOF? Answer. Membrane pore size determines the size of particles that can be effectively separated. OOF membranes have pore sizes in the range of 0.005 to 0.1 micrometers. Question. How do you handle membrane fouling in OOF? Answer. Fouling can be managed through strategies like pretreatment, chemical cleaning, and regular maintenance. Question. What is the role of pretreatment in OOF? Answer. Pretreatment, such as coagulation and sedimentation, helps remove larger particles and substances that could lead to fouling and reduced membrane performance. Question. What are the main challenges faced in OOF-based wastewater treatment? Answer. Challenges include membrane fouling, high operational costs, and the need for skilled maintenance. Question. Can OOF remove dissolved substances from wastewater? Answer. OOF is primarily designed for removing suspended solids, colloids, and larger molecules. For dissolved substances, other processes like reverse osmosis are more effective. Question. What is the difference between dead-end filtration and cross-flow filtration in OOF? Answer. Dead-end filtration involves passing water perpendicular to the membrane surface, while cross-flow filtration involves tangential flow that helps reduce fouling. Question. How does temperature affect OOF performance? Answer. Higher temperatures can increase the rate of fouling and alter the permeate flux, so temperature control is important. Question. What safety precautions are necessary when working with OOF systems? Answer. Safety measures include proper handling of chemicals, following maintenance protocols, and wearing protective gear. Question. Can OOF remove all types of pathogens from wastewater? Answer. OOF can effectively remove bacteria, viruses, and larger pathogens, but it may not eliminate all types of viruses without additional disinfection. Question. How is the recovery rate calculated in OOF? Answer. Recovery rate is the ratio of permeate volume to feed volume, expressed as a percentage. It indicates the fraction of treated water produced. Question. What is the role of air scouring in OOF systems? Answer. Air scouring involves injecting air into the membrane module to help dislodge and suspend particles, aiding in cleaning and reducing fouling. Question. What are the key components of OOF plant? Answer. OOF plant consists of a feed tank, pumps, OOF membrane modules, pressure vessels, instrumentation, and controls. Question. Why is OOF effective in wastewater treatment? Answer. 
Woof effectively separates particles and contaminants down to the sub-micron level, producing high-quality treated water. Question. What types of wastewater are suitable for woof treatment? Answer. Woof is used for various wastewater types including municipal sewage, industrial effluents, and water reclamation projects. Question. How is the permeate quality monitored in a woof plant? Answer. Permeate quality is monitored by analyzing parameters such as turbidity, total suspended solids, TSS, and coliform bacterial levels. Question. What is the typical membrane material used in oof plants? Answer. Polymeric membranes made from materials like polysulfone, polyethylsulfone, and polyvinylidene fluoride are commonly used due to their durability and performance. Question. What is the main difference between oof and conventional filtration methods? Answer. Oof can remove much smaller particles and contaminants compared to traditional methods like sand filtration. Question. What is the typical operating pressure range for oof plants? Answer. Operating pressures in oof plants usually range from 1 to 4 bars, 15 to 60 psi, depending on the specific application. Question. Can oof membranes remove dissolved salts from wastewater? Answer. Oof membranes primarily remove suspended solids and macromolecules. They are not effective at removing dissolved salts. Reverse osmosis is used for desalination. Question. What is the role of pretreatment in a oof plant? Answer. Pretreatment processes like coagulation and sedimentation help remove larger particles and improve the efficiency and lifespan of oof membranes. Question. How is the membrane surface area determined in a oof system? Answer. The membrane surface area is determined based on the required treatment capacity and the desired permeate flow rate. Question. Can oof be used as a standalone treatment process? Answer. UF can be used as a standalone process for certain applications, but it's often integrated with other treatment steps such as disinfection. Question. What is the typical lifespan of oof membranes? Answer. The lifespan of oof membranes can vary but is generally around 3 to 5 years, depending on factors like feedwater quality and operating conditions. Question. How do you handle chemical cleaning of oof membranes? Answer. Chemical cleaning involves circulating cleaning solutions through the membrane modules to dissolve and remove accumulated foliants. Question. What are the challenges of operating a oof plant? Answer. Challenges include fouling, proper maintenance, monitoring permeate quality, and energy consumption. Question. How is the flux rate determined and controlled in a oof system? Answer. Flux rate is determined by the permeate flow rate divided by the membrane surface area. It's controlled by adjusting operating parameters like pressure. Please note that these answers are general explanations and may vary depending on specific cases and research advancements. If getting knowledge from this video then like and share with your friends. If this channel is new for you then subscribe this channel and click bell icon. Thanks for watching.